Hi everybody, May 16th, 2019. We were just in here a couple days ago. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give these a little bit more room. We don't want them to swarm. We wanna try everything we can to stop them. So, uh, I forgot my hive tool. So I'm gonna go and grab it. We'll put it on pause for a second. Okay, so we're back. Hive tool's real important. I don't need a smoker today. What we're doing, it's the middle of the nectar flow. It's a beautiful sunny day. If you don't feel comfortable with it, don't worry about it. Wear protection. But they aren't going anywhere. So ultimately what we're going to be doing here is we're going to add another box. There's too many bees in here. You can see down in here these seams. They're drawing out all that wax and filling it with nectar. I'm kind of looking to see if we got any uh, any brood coming up in here yet. This time of year it's warm enough we don't need to worry about any chilled brood or any issues with that. This one here is starting to get some decent weight to it. At the rate they're going and knowing where we're at with our nectar flow, we still have a, um, yeah, they're doing really well with these. Come on, girls. It's incredible. This is the package that was put in with uh, just the, the last week of, of uh, March. So I'll pop that one off of there. The queen's not up in there, which is, uh, that's okay either way. It's good because we don't have to worry about it for honey's sake, but we want to make sure that she has enough room in here. So ultimately what we're going to be doing is manipulating this a little bit. We're going to put a couple of these frames up into this box. We're going to put this in the middle. We're going to give them another brood box. Um, let's hope it don't slow them down on that box too much, but I'm really concerned about this queen. Just all nectar. She's got brood over on this end frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this around position number three or four. It's plenty warm. We're not getting any cold nights. We got to worry about chilled brood. There's plenty of bees to take care of them. Loaded with brood. Put this next here. Now I'm going to put an empty. We're going to have a fresh empty in the bottom here.
couple of cups and some drones, but no, uh, no queen cells. We're going to go ahead and move that one up as well. I'm going to put a blank frame in the middle of that. We're going to put another blank one here. Got some drones going on, and we got a queen cup. We got another cup, but nothing in them. So they're thinking about it, but we got to keep an eye on them. We're going to put this one back, leave it right there. Sometimes you get one like this that just really uh, trying to send me a message. I'm going to go ahead and put another blank in there. We're doing what they call checkerboarding or just mixing these up a little bit. It's just going to create a whole bunch more room. The problem is they're going to come down and they're going to want to fill that and they're going to put their efforts into those blank frames as opposed to putting their efforts into the, the, uh, the honey box. Again, what I'm really looking for is any queen cells. Make sure we don't have any. She just continues to lay. We got fresh brood all over where they're hatching out. They're coming in and uh, and putting more. We're gonna move this one over here as well. Now we're gonna move another frame here. Move this one over. Gonna put another blank in there. We're gonna move both of these over. While we're in here, let's make sure we don't have any queen cells. If we had a small one, we'd bust it down. See a lot of drones on this frame, which is good because we're going to need those drones for the other hive. So we're going to go ahead and add our last frame right here keep them tight 
and in the middle. We're going to put this right on top. Now I'm going to knock a couple of them uh, drone cells off of there because it's hit. Tighten these up. We got these checkerboarded in. Which is going to give them, they shouldn't feel crammed at all. We're going to put the honey super back on. And that's it. That should hold them and keep them happy for a at least a few more weeks. It may impact our honey production, but we certainly don't want to lose the bees because if we, if they, we let them go and we don't do anything, they will swarm, they'll be gone, and there goes your honey production anyway. So there's that one. Let's go over into the other one. The other one, we had two frames that each had two queen cells. And what we're going to do is find one of those frames and put it into a two-frame nuke box I got a guy, um, he works for me, does a great job, and uh, he's doing the filming for us. We are going to uh, try and get him in the videos in the near future, because I'm helping him. But he's taking the nuke, and then he's going to take another frame. We need to get the bees out of here. We don't want more than two hives here. That's all we need here. Remember, these don't actually have a queen. They have no reason to go anywhere. All they're doing is making honey and waiting for their queen, uh, for the queen cells. This box, I can tell by the weight, it's it's pretty much the same as the same story as the other. Now, just for simplicity, remember which queen, which frame those were on. If you can get a picture under here. I mean, this box, all that brood's popping out. They are just full of bees. I can't even see which one the queen cells were on. Yeah, that marked right there. Yeah. We have a virgin queen right there. Where is it? Where is it at? About six inches from the end. She just went around on the side. She's right. Right there. Right there. So there goes our plans. Because I didn't see the queen cells on the bottom. Although there's a there's one emerging right now. What I need to do is get that queen down into the box because we have this other cell that she's getting ready to come out. They're trying to help her out of there right now. There's the other one. She'll go and kill that other one. Let me pull this, let me catch this queen. Just grab her by the wings. She's gotta go out. We're gonna put her right down in there. Go on down in the box, not on my hand. So she, there she is. She just went down. 
Good. We have a new queen in there. Emerge. We know she's in there. We have this queen cell. They're trying to uncap her right now. We are going to lock her into this box. Get those wedges out of there. This box is all sealed up on the front with a screen. And we're going to have a... Um, it'll be in its place where it's going shortly. In a couple hours. That's... Uh, several miles from here we're just going to set this in here real gentle yep there's the cell she came out of that one she came out of that one and then there's the other one going to come out she was going to go she would have killed that other one these just came out just she might have came out just an hour or two ago that cell that cells on the other side good perfect Put this in here. We got these wedges to keep these frames tight for the ride. Try turning it. It's good. I like it tight. Okay. So, we're going to put this lid on right now. Go back over there. There we go. She's locked in there. They have a screen. And uh, she'll be gone. And then she'll emerge and she'll go out. And there's, so there's going to be a two-frame mating box, another colony in another location. We're going to put this one back together here. In about a, within about a week or so, this new queen in here will go out on a mating flight and hopefully come back. So in about a week, seven to 10 days, we should be able to look and find new eggs laid in here. Did you need to put that in there? Yeah, I do. <laughs> too much of a hurry because I want to get this one sealed up and make sure that queen goes and does what she's supposed to. She'll be fine. in there so that's what's going on with the city bees we've got one that uh, we've just given them plenty of room hopefully they won't swarm this one here we averted a swarm and if we've created two splits off of it already we'll keep you updated thanks for watching